Hi guys, welcome. My name is Safil and I'm from Uppercut Boxing Studios, a traditional boxing gym that also combines high intensity interval training. Today, I have a great workout planned in for you. It's a 45 minute boxing workout differed into three different segments. The first segment, we're going to take you through a nice warm up for 15 minutes as well as get your boxing technique right. For the second segment, we are going to be training like a boxer. And for the last bit, the last segment, we're going to push on for your endurance. Now, before we get started, what do you need for this class? Firstly, you're going to have two water bottles. These are going to be your makeshift weights. You want to fill them up, close them off nice and tight. These are going to be your makeshift dumbbells and weights for the remainder of the class. Next up, you want a nice towel with you. This towel is used to wipe the space around you and also yourself during this hard workout. Now, with that being said, you guys can take your equipment later on during the break. Now let's get into the boxing technique first up. First things first, in boxing, we never face our opponent standing like this. Our body frame is too large. What we're going to do is decrease our body frame by standing at an angle. What I simply just did is take one foot, place it at the back, and stand at an angle. Now, which foot goes to the back? That is determined by whether you are right-handed or left-handed. If you are right-handed like me, your right foot goes to the back, you're 45 degrees away from your opponent. What you're simply going to do right now is take your upper body, shift it forward. Upper body, shift it forward. Your hands, clench your fists, bring it up to your cheeks and your elbows, rest it on your ribs. Next up, you want to stay nice and mobile so your legs cannot be straight. What you need to do, bend that knee and from here, do that boxing shuffle. Alternate that weight between your front foot and your back foot, simply like this. This is all you got to do. Nice and easy, moving front and back, front and back, front and back. I want you to get loose in this position, so what you want to do right now is move around. Taking one step at a time. Nice and simple, one step at a time. Try and get comfortable in this position, and what you want to avoid is two feet at a time like this, all right? Nice and simple. For 30 seconds, I want you to get comfortable in your boxing shuffle. All right, from here, what have you been waiting for? The punches, right? The first punch, nice and simple, is the jab. It's gonna release from your front shoulder. You're gonna notice that I'm gonna to refer to our shoulders as front and back instead of left and right. Why so? Because we have some friends standing with their right hand forward. Now, with our front shoulder being the one peeking out, the back shoulder being the one towards the back, our front shoulder comes with the first punch called the jab. From your chin, you're gonna release that punch, twist it, all the way out, making sure your hand is straight, come back in. One more time, jab, twist, and out. All of you all at home, I want you to try your jab right now. Nice and relaxed, jab. Nice and relaxed, jab. Move around, comfortable, pop. Nice and easy. Next up, it's your cross. Now, the cross requires you to use your entire body movement. Here's why. When you throw your left hand out, you're going to notice that it's much longer than your right hand. And you're going to make up for that distance by twisting your hip. Twist your hip. So watch me. For the cross, it starts with your feet. You twist your feet in. You twist your hip in. Then the cross comes forward. So watch my legs. Feet, hip, hand. With me now, feet, hip, hand. Put it all together, the cross goes like this. Bum. 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 Alright, so everyone at home, give me a nice cross. And go. Bum. Nice and easy. Next up, two punches are called the hooks. The hooks are horizontal punches. Again, they always start from the chin. From from here, you're going to release that hand 90 degrees with your arm. Bam! Face level, hit your opponent, bring it back in. The number one mistake I always see is people following through with the hook all the way. Your opponent isn't here, he's over here. So hook, bam, in. Front hook, in. Front hook, in. Try that for yourself. And next up, you're going to go for that back hook. Any punch that involves the back side, you're going to use it with your pivot. So when I say back hook, twist in, throw that hook. Always making sure you maintain your punches at eye level, hitting your opponent, and back in. Next up, the last punch, the uppercut, right? Sorry, the uppercut, right? So how are you going to throw the uppercut? The first thing I need to teach you is a drop. You can't throw the uppercut from here. You're going to drop first by dropping all your weight on one leg. If I'm throwing the front uppercut, I'm going to drop my weight to the front. From here, I'm going to release that tension up. 
release that weight up with a nice vertical punch ending at face level. So everyone, uppercuts, front uppercut, drop and drive it up. Relax, drop, drive it up. Same thing for the back, add in the extra step. Back drop, back uppercut. Back drop, back uppercut. Six punches, learned in five minutes. Let's put it to the test. Now we're gonna start the warm up nice and proper. First minute, nice and easy, jab, cross, one squat. Relax, get ready, jab, cross, one squat. One minute of work everybody. Nice and loose in three, two, one, and go. Bum, bum, drop. Bum, bum, drop. Nice and comfortable. Those of you at home, I want you to push a bit more harder than me. I want you to go a bit more faster than me. Bum. What I like to do for my squats is make sure my elbows touch my feet. Sorry, touch my legs. So jab, cross, drop it down, back straight, touch, and up. Keep pushing. Again, just one minute of work before we switch. You want to start being mobile when I box. You're going to notice that I don't just punch with my upper body, right? When I throw my punches, I'm moving my hips. I'm using my hips. And after I finish the combination or the exercise, I never stay in one spot. I move around. All right, from here, let's move on to your second warm-up. You're going to go for a lizard crawl. So you're going to start off in your push-up position like so. From here, you're going to move alternate hand and alternate feet up. Left hand out, right leg out. From here, one push-up, bring it back in. Other side, bring it back in. So again, I want you to try this right now. Left hand, right leg. Right leg, left hand. All right, nice and simple. If you have space around you, I want you to use it to move in a lizard crawl. If you don't have space, it's no problem. You're just gonna go nice and easy. Bum, bring your hex back in. Other side, right back in. This crawl is great for you to activate your upper body as well as your lower body at the same time. Keep going, 30 seconds. Nice and slowly, I want you to get nice and warm with this crawl. You notice right now, I'm keeping my back straight, I'm taking my time. I don't want you to put your legs too far out. When you do that, you're gonna be unstable and it's gonna be hard for you to go all the way down. Bring your legs out a bit and come in. In three, two, one. All right, second part of your warm up, let's work that hooks. I want you to try front hook, back hook, move around. Back to your boxing warm up. Front hook, back hook, move around. Remember, don't stay in one spot. Bum, bum, move. One thing you want to note when you throw your hooks, always make sure your shoulder is protecting your chin as you throw it. What I mean by that is to raise that shoulder up when you throw. Don't do this. Yes, you're hitting the target, but you're letting go of your chin. So raise that shoulder up and drop those bombs. Two punches, moving around. Bum, bum. Nice and easy. Those of us who are a bit more advanced in boxing joining us this morning, on you really working your footwork. Moving fast. Bum, bum. Move away fast. Everyone else, joining for the first time, first few times, take it easy. In three, two, one. All right. Fourth bit of your warm-up, you're going to go with something called a bear crawl. You're going to start off in your push-up position. Bring your legs in, bend it at 90 degrees, but barely touch the floor. Don't touch the floor, barely touch the floor. This is called your tabletop position. From here, we're going to do the same thing as a lizard crawl. Alternate hand, alternate leg. Keeping that back straight, nice and easy. This is a great warm-up for your back mobility. You're going to notice, as I'm bringing my hands and legs out, I'm making a very minute movement with my feet and my back is still. My back is very still. So don't try, even if you attempt it, to do this. All right? Nice and stable with your back. Oh. Now it's imperative that your back is straight and that knee is always at 90 degrees. Keep it there in three, two, one. All right, last minute of your warm up. We are left 
with one last sequence of punches, those uppercuts, all right? So what you're gonna do is the same as earlier on. You're gonna go uppercut, uppercut, one squat. Move around, thumb, thumb, move around. Visualize your opponent, aim for his chin, go back down. Nice and simple. You're down to our first, sorry, last minute of your warm up. After this, let's work on some simple combinations before we move on to the next segment. Nice and easy, your blood rate, your heart rate should be rising up right now. Blood should be coursing through those veins in your shoulders. We're getting there, guys. Bum, bum, down. Nice and easy. Moving around. Bum, bum, down. In three, two, one, and break. All right. Next three minutes, I want to teach you some combinations, right? We've been doing individual punches. Now let's work in together in a combination. Nice and simple. First combination goes like this. Jab, cross, front hook. Now, when I throw that front hook, I'm doing two things. I'm twisting it on my hip. I'm letting the hip go forward so that my punch comes in nice and easy. It's optional for you to also pivot on your foot. So everybody, one minute of your first combination in boxing in three, two, one, and go. Bam, 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 bam. Now those of us who are more experienced, don't just end off with that hook. After that hook, your opponent is going to come back. I want you to do something. I want you to move around. I want you to defend. Do something nice and easy. In three, two, one, and break. All right, next minute, let's add in one more punch. Jab, cross, hook, back hook. Just one more punch. Four punches now. Same thing, moving around as you go. Bum, 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 bum. Notice, I'm always mobile with my feet. And as I punch, my hips are being engaged. Don't be still. Don't just use your upper body. Use your hips. So if I'm not punching, it's going to look like this. See, I'm using my entire body for just one punch. Put it all together. Go slow first. But once you get the hang of it, I want you to speed up. 15 seconds on that clock. Start to speed up now. Put in everything. That small little pointers that I taught you. Shoulders rising up. Hip using extended. Put that all in together as you throw these combinations. In three, two, one. All right, next one. Last minute, let's put in all six punches together. Combination goes like this. Ja. Cross, hook, hook, uppercut, uppercut. Six nice punches, followed by one movement. Last minute of warm-up, and go. One, two, hook, hook, upper, upper. Moving around, pump. Now, if you're having difficulty breathing, focusing on your breathing, take this as a pointer. I want you to breathe out as you punch. That is why boxers have that signature fight noise when they punch. So as you punch, breathe up. Now, why do we focus on consciously breathing out? It's because when you breathe out consciously, you automatically breathe in. So pace yourself. One last combination. Let's go as fast as we can. Bum, 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 bum. And time. All right. The next two minutes, guys, let me introduce to you the topic of today. I want to teach you a defense topic. I want to teach you something we can do to employ punches coming towards us and how are we going to defend towards it. Now, one simple way of defending is stepping back. Now, you're going to be a bit counterintuitive without defense. We're going to move and still stay and stay still within our opponent's reach and move our head. The technique I want to teach you today is called the weave or the roll. Imagine someone throws a hook at you or a straight punch. You're going to duck under that punch, coming down like so, coming up the other side. Down and up. You're going to immediately notice that what I'm doing right now is imagining my head as a marker and making a U shape with my head. U shape with my head. So focus on that. Let's try it together. There are three parts to the weave. The first part of the U, you staying at the bottom, 
and coming back up. U-shape, U-shape. So, you're staying stationary. If I say weave towards the back, you're gonna weave and put the weight on your back foot. Weave to the back, your weight ends at that back foot. If I say weave towards your front, you're gonna weave to the front and you're gonna end off with that weight on that front foot. You're gonna push your weight from the starting leg to the next leg. So let's try weaving to the back slowly. You go down, you go to a nice half squat. You're still maintaining eye contact with your opponent. The weight transfers to the back and then you come up. My back is not bent, my back is straight, my legs are doing the work. Weaving towards the front, same thing. Weight starts at the back foot, but I bring it slowly to the front and I rise up. All right, that's all for our weaves. Now, go ahead and get your equipment, hydrate yourself. When you come back, you're going to be training like a boxer. Hi guys, welcome back. Now for segment two, we are done with the warm up. It's going to be a bit more difficult for now. We're going to train like a boxer. Boxers train for three minutes and they rest for one minute. Just like that, we're going to go for four rounds with simple boxing combinations. This is your first combination. You're going to start off with what I just taught you, that weave. A simple combination only involves using your front hand for this round. First round's combination, jab. Jab, there's two jabs. Bring your hand back in, weave towards the front. Go down, U-shape, come back up, and throw that hook. Double jab, weave, hook. Double jab, weave, hook. All right, so first one and a half minutes, let's work in three, two, one, let's go. One, two, weave, hook. One, two, weave, hook. Now, you're knowing, you're, you know you're doing a good hook, weave when you're using your body, lower body. When you use your lower body, your butt hurts instead of your back. If you feel like your back hurts, that means you're bending down like this. Don't bend like so, use that leg. Double jab, weave, hook. Nice and easy. Keep working, one and a half minutes, moving around as we go. Weave, bump. Now, immediately you're gonna notice this. I can actually get more power if I start the punch at the bottom. What do I mean by that? One, two, U-shape. At the bottom of the U-shape, when you throw that punch, start it off right here so you can rise up and throw that hook. Instead of doing this, complete the weave and throw the hook. When you complete the weave first, what you're doing is not engaging your legs. So try this. One, two, halfway through the weave, rise up and hook. Bam. Nice and simple. I'm gonna work. 10 seconds. Bop. Last combination. And break. All right. The remainder of that round comes with a bit of resistance. Grab that water bottle, or if you have a weight, one kilo dumbbell, two kilo dumbbell, even better. You're gonna do the same combination with the weight now. Boxing shuffle, and go. One, two, weave, hook. One, two, weave, hook. Keep it there, moving around. Bam. Now, 
for my south force out there, combination doesn't change. You just start off with your right foot, right, right, weave, right. One, two, weave, right. Remember, use your lower body as you rise up for that punch. There's weights in your hands right now. You're going to feel a little bit of resistance. Doesn't matter. We still work. But you can slow down now, but I don't want you to stop. And most importantly, I don't want you to forego your form. Never forego your form, no matter how tired you are. Keep working now for three seconds more. That squeezes in one more combination. And it's time. All right. End of the round, we don't stop working. First round is active rest, continuous straight punches. Extend your ends fully. You're going to work for 30 seconds. Straight punches. Nice and simple. Straight out. Punches all the way straight. Hand is twisted. Come back in. The trick to speed for this one is paddling your feet. Don't keep your lower body not engaged and do like this. Engage the lower body. Go for speed. Three, two, and break. All right. Take a little break right now. 30 seconds. Wipe yourself off. Get some water for yourself. Let's move on to the next combination. Your next round's combination, let's work on weaving towards the back. Your front hand should be tired by now. Let's give it a little break. Next combination goes like so. One, two, jab, cross, weaving to the back. So you weave towards the right. And when you come up, uppercut. Jab, cross, weave to the right, uppercut. One, two, weave, uppercut. One, two, weave, uppercut. When you throw the uppercut, keep that left hand on your cheek. Bum. Weave, punch starts from here. Bum. Notice I don't do this. I start the punch when I'm at the lowest point, and then I rise up with my punch. Why not use the biggest muscle in your body, right? So jab, cross, weave, uppercut. One, two, weave, uppercut. Get ready for your second combination in three, two, one, let's go. <laughs> Always moving around after. Never staying in the same spot, keeping mobile. Those of us who are a bit more experienced at home, after the last uppercut, why not throw a form of defense? So if you, have no, if you know other forms of defense, stepping back, moving right, slipping, I want you to try it after the uppercut, do another form of defense before moving up. Everyone else, let's work on a simple yet effective combination. Keep it there, 15 seconds before we turn it up a notch, before we add a bit of resistance. Bum. Still keeping the essence of that form, hands back to your cheek. When you get tired, first thing you're tempted to do is bring that hand down. And you're going to punch from here. Punch from here. Always try to punch from here. In three, two, one. You know what time it is? Time to add a bit more weight. Same combination, guys. One and a half minutes of work. In three, two, one. Let's work. Weave, uppercut. One, two, weave, uppercut. Nice and easy. Bum. Always focusing on the feet movement after that combination. Those of us, a bit more experience, I want you to try to engage your legs as you weave. So watch what I'm doing here. Bam, bam. When I weave now, I'm going to take a step as I weave and throw the uppercut. Again, one, two, step, and uppercut. If you're more experienced, give that a try. If not, let's work on the same combination. Keep it there. 30 seconds of work left. Bum. I want everyone else at home trying to go a bit faster now. We have two rounds into our second segment. Bodies are warmed up. The weaves should be coming in nicely by now. So now, right now, let's let the body do the work. In three, two, one, and end of the round. You know what is next? Continuous uppercuts for speed for 30 seconds. Pedal that feet, engage your legs, and go. Nice and simple. Pedaling my feet, I'm going for speed. 
you want to roll your hands and you want to make sure you're leaning forward just a little. If you're up straight, you can't get enough speed. When you're leaning forward, you can gain enough momentum. Keep it there. Three, two, one, and break. 30 seconds of that break. Third round coming up next. For the third round now, you're going to attempt to do a double weave. So for the first two rounds, we are doing weaving either to the left, weaving either to the right. Now let's put in both together. Let's weave in left and right. Combination, very simple. Jab, cross. From here, weave to the back first. Then weave to the left. And from here, front hook, cross. Let's do it all together. Let's practice first. Jab, cross. Weave back, weave forward, front hook, cross. We're going to end off with two punches at the end of the two weaves. Everybody get ready. Third round of training like a boxer in three, two, one. Bam, bam. Weave, weave, hook, cross. Moving around. Again. One, two, weave, weave, hook, cross. So right now you're doing a double U shape, right? You're going to go one, two, one, two, weave, weave, hook, cross. Keep it going. Weave, weave, hook, cross. Cross. Bam, bam. Weave. Weave. Hook. Cross. Now here's a small tip with your combinations. Always try to make every punch land at the same spot. What do I mean by that? Usually when people throw a cross or a hook, the cross is far out, but the hook is very near. Try not to do that. Keep the hand 90 degrees. Cross lands here. Hook should also land at the same spot. So everybody else, jab, cross, weave, weave, hook, cross. My soft pause, this one's for you. Jab, cross, weave, weave, hook, cross. Combination doesn't change. You're just using your right hand and leg first. Right, left, weave, weave, right, left. Keep going for speed now, guys. Bam, bam, weave, weave, bam, bam. Keep it going. Weave, weave, hook, cross, and break. Not hard enough. Not hard enough. Let's keep going. Next one and a half minutes, same combination. Weave, weave, hook, cross. One, two, weave, weave, hook, cross. If you catch your breath, don't want you to stay like this. I want you to stay up with your hands, moving around. Ha, ha, weave, weave, bam, bam. Keep going. Like I mentioned earlier on, you got four rounds in this. That means after this, you have to have one more round to survive before you get a nice segment break. Keep it good, guys. 40 seconds of work. Double weaves now. Now, what I like about using weights is you really make sure you can see yourself twisting your hands. See, if you don't twist, the punch and the water bottle or your weight is facing upwards. Only if you twist, does the water water go horizontally? Hook, cross. Focusing on your breathing. Weave, weave, bum, bum, and three, two, one, and break. All right, water ball is down. You've done speed, straight punches, speed uppercuts, so you should know what's coming next. Get ready. In three, two, one, and speed. Engaging the hands, engaging your feet, engaging your hips. Keep it there. Ten seconds of work. Past three rounds have been great. The next three rounds, I want you to push for speed. I want you to push for a bit of power. I'm going to break down the next round into three one-minute intervals, which is going to be simple, but it's going to be difficult. And break. All right, next round. First part of the next round. The first one minute, let's start off with two simple weaves, four straight punches for one minute straight. So what are you going to go? You're going to go start either in the back or the front. It doesn't matter. Weave, weave, one, two, three, four. Relax. Again, weave, weave, bum, 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 bum. So the four straight punches are fast. The weave is where you catch your breath. One minute of work, guys. Get ready in three, two, one, let's go. Weave, weave, 
One, two, three, four. Moving around again. One, two, one, two, three, four. Again, it doesn't matter if you start weaving from the right or the left. Bum, bum. One, two, three, four. Weave, weave. One, two, three, four. Keep it there, guys. 30 seconds. Simple stuff, but this is effective in training your speed right now. So what you want to focus on is pushing off those hands immediately after you finish defending. Defense, defense, offense. Up. Keep it there. Defend, defend, explode. 10 seconds of work. Bam, 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 bam. One must one. One, two, three, four. And break. The next one, let's focus on that power. So everyone at home, this is going to be of a call out round. When I mean call out, that means you only act when I say the cue. What you're going to start off with is a half squat. Stay like this. And when I say up, one uppercut, come back down. Up, one uppercut, come back down. So everyone else, down now. Stay in the half squat. Now this is great for you to train rising up from your punch with the weave. So everybody in the half squat. And up, bam. Go back down to your half squat. Nice and simple. Up, bam. Nice and easy. Stay here. Get comfortable here. Up, bam. Keep it there. Up, bam. Last 15 seconds when I say up, two nice uppercuts. Get ready. Down. Catch your breath. Up, one, two. Back down. And up, one, two. Back down. Keep it there. Last one. Let's go for four uppercuts. Get ready. And up. One, two, three, four. And break. Last one minute of this round. You're going to stay in your boxing shuffle. I want you to keep bobbing your head. Nice and simple. When I say weave, it doesn't matter which side. I want you to throw one weave, one punch. Back again. Weave. One weave, one punch. Wait for my call out so everyone stay in that boxing shuffle. Catching your breath. Wait for my call. And weave. Weave. Uppercut. Back again. Keep it there. Weave. Bump. Let's go for a few more. Let's go as fast as you can. Weave. Hup. Bump. Keep it there. Weave. Hup. Bump. Nice and simple. Last one. Let's go for two uppercuts after that weave. And weave. Weave. Bump. Bump. And break, guys. All right. Just like that. We have finished training like a boxer, but we are down to the last segment that we are going to be doing for endurance. It's going to be a bit more tougher than this round, but we've already come yet so far. Just a few more to go. I'll see you next. Stay hydrated, guys. Hey guys, welcome back. Finished doing the warm-up, finished training like a boxer. Now we're really gonna push for the next 15 minutes with an endurance, right? I've trained, I've picked for you two rounds of endurance. This consists of six exercises per round of three minutes. You're gonna go for two rounds, and every 30 seconds, you're gonna swap out the exercise. I say again, every 30 seconds, you're gonna swap out the exercise. That means you're gonna push 100%, but also it means that before 
you get really into it, we're going to switch on to the next exercise. So, these six exercises consist of you moving from body weight movement to boxing movement. For the boxing movement, we're going to do a bit of ladder work. What does ladder work mean? That means you're going to in keep increasing the rep range until you reach the highest number. For example, we're going to go for two punches, back down, two mountain climbers. When you come back up next, you're going to go three punches, three mountain climbers, and keep on increasing. With that being said, let's start off with the first exercise of the run. We are going to go for a speed inchworm with the push-up. You're going to keep your legs, your legs straight. You're going to walk down to a push-up position with your hands. One push-up, come back down. So get ready, guys. This is your endurance bit in three, two, one, and go. Push up, back in. Nice and easy. Load that weight on your arms and walk. Now, what I want you to make sure when you do your push up, always make sure you never do an injury dominant form. Keep your hands 45 degrees, nice balance of using your tricep, your back, and your chest. Keep working now. Give me one last rep and up on your feet. All right, next 30 seconds, ladder work. Two punches. Go back down, two mountain climbers. Come back up. Three punches. Come back down, three mountain climbers. And up, four punches. I don't have to explain any further. You guys, for 30 seconds, I want you to hit as high as you can. Hit that highest number. I'm at six right now. I want you to be faster than that. And time. Remember that number. Next up, you're going to go for front lunges. But with a bit of difficulty, you want to keep your hands up to make sure that you're not stable. You're forced to go slow. You're forced to engage your core. Nice and easy. 10 seconds. Keep it there. In three, two, one. All right. Next one is a boxing one. You're going to go for two weaves. Two punches. These punches are your uppercuts. Weave, weave, uppercut, uppercut. This is a ladder round. So next one will be three weaves. One, two, three. Uppercut, uppercut, uppercut. And go on for four now. You want to push your ladder work right now. If you go for four, next one is five, six, seven. I want you to reach that highest number as you can. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And back in. Keep it going, guys. You got 10 seconds of work. In three, two, one. All right, fixed exercise is your commandos. You're going to go push your position. From here, you're going to change to your low plank. And then high plank. Keeping the hip nice and stable. Keep it there. 15 seconds. Nice and easy. 15 seconds. Keep it going. And always make sure your hip isn't moving too much. It's going to get in the way of you engaging your core. Nice and simple. Low plank, high plank. In three, two, one. And next one from here, you're going to go for two hooks, one burpee. One, two. Get down. Burpee time. Jump back up. This time, you're going to go for four hooks, two burpees. One, two, three, four. Two burpees now. And keep going up. Last 30 seconds before we get a break. One, two, three, four, five, six. That counts for three burpees. Let's go, guys. In three, two, one, and break, guys. That was your first set of endurance. Wipe yourself off, get yourself some water. You're gonna move on to your next round. Again, the same exercises, but for the boxing rounds, what we're gonna do is wake work from our highest number down to our lowest number. So I hope you remember those highest numbers for your ladder rounds. You're gonna work starting from four, five, or six, down all the way to the lowest rep of two. Get ready now, guys. First one is your speed intro with push-ups. In three, two, one, let's work. Bum, and up. It's not called endurance or nothing, guys. Nice and easy push-up, walk back up. Try to keep your legs as straight as possible. That way you're really engaging only your back. Keep it there now. Five seconds in three, two, one. 
you know what is next, four straight punches and two weaves, starting off the highest number. Let's say I started off, I finished it off at eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight weaves. Head's gonna feel a bit giddy. Still keep that form. Still engage your legs. Next one, we're going for seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Try to hit your lowest number. Keep it there. In three, two, one. Next exercise, your front lunge with your hands up. Nice and stable. Barely touching the ground. My knees aren't touching the ground, they come back up. That way, you add more control into the movement. Keep that back straight. Crunch on that core. In three, two, one. Next up, it's your hooks and your weaves. One, two, weave, weave. One, two, three, four, weave, 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 weave. All right, start from the highest number, get ready. In three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, six weaves. One, two, three, four, five, six. One last one. One, two, three, four, five. If you're a beast at home, I hope you finish in the last rep. One, two, three, four. Fifth exercise, that commando. Let's get into it. Nice and stable. Low plank to high plank. Low plank to high plank. What you want to make sure right now is that if your elbows are hurting, if the floor is a bit too hard, get yourself a towel. Stabilize yourself. Keep that core engaged for five more seconds. In three, two, one. Next up is that burpee round. Start from the highest number. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's four burpees. Let's see. Who can finish off and hit that one burpee number? Let's work our way down, guys. Keep it there. One, two, three, four, five, six. In three, two, and time, guys. Woo. What a two rounds it has been. Wipe yourself off. You're not done with the endurance just yet. We have finished off with our body weight exercises. Next up, I have a little good news for you. You're gonna sit on the floor. But the bad news is, it's core time. So everybody, get on the floor. You're gonna start off nice and easy with your full sit-ups. I love to start with this because it engages your entire core. Heels on the floor, go all the way down, all the way up without getting your heels off the ground. Nice and controlled. In three, two, one, let's go. Now each core exercise runs 45 seconds. For those out there, you want a bit more challenge, grab yourself your weight. Add a bit of resistance, still go for core. I'm not letting my heels off the ground, I'm using my lower back as well as my core to raise up. Keep it going. 10 seconds. In three, two, one. All right, next exercise, you want to try and keep your legs and your hands over here. You're going to push your legs out, straighten it out, come back in. Get ready in three, two, one, leg extensions. Nice and controlled. Nice and simple. Now, if you want a bit more of a challenge, don't use that weight, just raise your hands up. Fully extend on my legs, come back in. Keep it going, guys. Five seconds more. Keep it there. In three, two, one. All right, next up is for your upper core. Now, the upper core requires a very little jerk movement. You're going to pace your lower back on the floor, heels always on the floor. Put your hands on your thighs. You want to slide that hand all the way up to your knees without letting your lower back come off the floor. Go back down. Slides. Knee slides in three, two, one. This one you can go a little bit faster. Immediately, you're going to feel the strain on your upper core. Just like that. Just have one more exercise before we are done for your core round. Keep it going. Three, two, one. You know how we always, always end it off with a core round. 
So you're gonna go for a nice low plank. Nice and simple, get to your low plank nice, butt straight, and hold for 50 seconds. Nice and easy, guys. Blood is low. Breathing in, breathing out. Thinking about your breakfast. After this, we just have one more full round. We're gonna go for our signature speed, flow, and aggression. Nice and stable, guys. 10 seconds. Keep it there. In three, two, one, and time. Give yourself a nice break. Wipe yourself off. Get yourself that water. Make sure your workspace has a lot of space around you because the next one is going to involve a lot of movement. You're going to go for something signature to uppercut. That speed, flow, and aggression, but I have amended it to suit you doing it at home. When I say flow, this is basically your freestyle. Do whatever you want with your punches. If you are new to boxing, go for a simple combination, jab, cross, upper, upper. Everyone else, nice and easy, letting your hands flow. When I say aggression, or when I say work, I'm gonna give you a specific exercise, and you're gonna push as fast and as hard as you can for just 10 seconds. 20 seconds of flow, 10 seconds of hard work. Get ready guys, 20 seconds of flow. In three, two, one, and go. Moving around. Did I mention this is your last round? So you know what to do. In three, two, one, first stop. Speed straight punches. Fast as you can. Let those hands fly. Let your hands do the talking. In three, two, one, back to that flow. Immediately change your pace. 20 seconds of flow, 10 seconds of 100% emptying your tank. In three, two, one, next one, let's go for burpees. 10 seconds, speed burpees, let's go. Nail in as many reps as you can. Keep it there. In three, two, one. Back to that flow, we are halfway there. Nice and easy. Always moving. I'm not just using my upper body and going like this, right? Boxing is as much as about your hands as they are about your feet. Keep it there. In three, two, one, and continuous speed uppercuts. Nice and easy. Woo. After this, you just have two more sets. Three, two, one, flow, flow. We're nearly there, guys. We're nearly there. Get ready to empty your tank. Your second last aggression. This aggression, you're gonna go for speed and fast high knees. In three, two, one, fast as you can. Knees all the way up. Three, two, one, flow. All right, this last flow is gonna go into your boxing aggression. This is how you're gonna go for your boxing aggression. I don't want just power in your punches. I don't want just speed. I want you to combine it both. What I like to tell my clients is that imagine your opponent is knocked out. No, no, knocked out, he's going down. And you wanna finish him off. What are you gonna do? You're gonna go for aggression. Get ready. In three, two, one. 10 seconds, aggression, let's go. Fast and hard. Everything that you got, empty that thing. Three, two, one, and time, guys. Just like that, we are done with the workout. I hope you guys had as much fun as I did. Now let's go for a quick cool down. First up, you're gonna start breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. Nice, deep big breaths. Nice and stable. Now once you got that covered, let's go on to our stretches. Legs straight, bend all the way down, try and touch your toes. If you can't touch your toes, it's fine, but I want you to still maintain that breath. 
keep it there in three two one next up your last one is for your core lower body on the floor upper body face up look up and breathe what a workout it's been guys not easy but you guys push through i hope your takeaway from today is a new form of defense that we learned that weave all right you're going to focus on that weave as you practice and i'll see you guys next week and tomorrow for another uppercut boxing workout stay safe stay at home and take care everybody